What's going on, everyone? So, Lakers basketball is here. You can smell it, you can taste it, you can feel it. It's like this aura just building around. But one of the big things that the Lakers are still actively looking for is a center. And the trade market, in general, the Lakers are going to continue to be active, are going to continue to explore. Uh, now, the season is beginning, so I don't expect a trade to happen tomorrow, today, after Game 3, something like that. The Lakers' plan, Rob Blink even talked about it, they wanted to kind of give the first 20, 30 games a, a real kind of go-over, which is best, right? One, you see names, Zach Levine, for example, is linked to the Lakers. But it's in the Lakers' best interest to see 20, 30 games in. Like, what does Levine look like? Right now, Levine looks spectacular. Right now, Levine is over here and he is just cooking. But 20 games in, is he starting to deal with some nagging injuries? Is he out with injury? Right? Like, what what's going on with Levine? Right? If he's looking great and he's still killing it and he's still you know, all the bit the player that we know he can be, then maybe the Lakers go and say, hey, you know what, let's do a Levine trade. Also, it's in the Lakers' best interest to kind of see, one, what does this team really need? Now, where are the real holes? Like, right now, it's kind of like, well, you have this redundancy in the backcourt. You know, Rui, is he really going to be capable of playing the three? Can he really defend at the, at the three spot? You know, um... Guys like Gabe Vincent, can he stay healthy? Jared Vanderbilt, like what's going up with that? Like there's just so many questions with this team. Obviously, we need we can use a backup center. Um, now does Christian Coloco get way, get signed on? If he gets signed on, does like that help negate that a little bit? Can the Lakers pull off some type of trade to maybe bring somebody in? Like what what is the deal? What is going to happen? Right. Also, how good or bad are the Lakers? Now, a lot of people. I've seen kind of throughout the narrative, well, if the Lakers are like a top four seed, they're like they're not going to make a trade. I disagree. I think a trade comes almost regardless. I'm not saying like a huge trade. I'm not saying like a huge roster rehaul. I'm not saying even necessarily like a Zach Levine or anything like that. I think bare minimum, the Lakers get a center on the roster, right? Whether it's, you know, uh, uh, Valanchunas when he becomes available or Nick Richards or something like that. I think the Lakers will address that center position because it's been a need for years now, and I don't see it changing, right? I don't see, like, all of a sudden, magically, Lakers don't need a center anymore, right? Like, even if Coloco is fine, even if Jackson Hayes all of a sudden gains 50 pounds, like, I still think that they're going to need uh, another center. But, you know, I, I also think that if the Lakers are good, and you can identify clear areas of need, it makes even more sense for them to put... Like, I would be more concerned, say, 30 games in, if Lakers are, say, 10 and 20. I would be more concerned that they do nothing because it's like, you know, the West is so stacked, so tight. Like, we're, we might not even make the play in. Right, like I'd be more worried about the Lakers being bad and that leading to no trades and the Lakers just kind of throw their hands up and go, hey, let's wait till next offseason. And, you know, we'd have a bunch of salary falling off the books. LeBron James can kind of restructure his contract however he wants. Maybe we, you know, maybe a Kyrie opts out and we can bring a Kyrie in or maybe we can pull off a Steph trade if the Warriors are bad, right? Like I, I would be more worried about that than if the Lakers are – Let's say, even if they're the one seed, right? Let's say the Lakers are the best team in the Western Conference 30 games in. I think that makes it even, it's like, oh, we, we need to get, we need to like, you know, sh let's go get a Jeremy Grant. Let's go get a Zach Levine. Let's go get a Nick Richards and a Zach Levine, right? Like, I could see the Lakers kind of like pushing the chips. Okay, like maybe we are good enough. Especially if like Reeves, like if the guys that the Lakers plan on trading, right? All right, let me rephrase. The guys that the Lakers plan on keeping, it's probably a better way to phrase it, right? Like, so like Austin Reeves. If Austin Reeves is really good this year, and say Dalton Connect is really good this year, and Max Christie has shown that he can play a rotation spot, right? And it's like, okay, well, we could trade D'Lo, trade Rui, and it wouldn't, like, affect what we got going on. Because Reeves 
killing it. Vando is healthy. You know, he's doing his thing. Dalton Connect has really con been consistent. Max Chris, right? Like, if, like, the handful of guys that you're planning on keeping, Christian Wood comes back, he's cooking, right? And it's like, okay, well, Gabe Vincent, D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, we can get rid of. We can do without. Let's go take those three and go get this guy or that guy. You know, maybe take Jalen Uchifino and and go get a, a Nick Richards or something, right? Like, all of a sudden, I could see the Lakers really looking to do that. But it is in their best interest to be patient. It is in their best interest to... Like, I don't think anything happens till like, December. Like, mid-December. And then even then, I could see it just kind of being Valanchunas. Right? Like, let's go get Valanchunas. Because you get that first thing, right? Like, it wouldn't shock me if, say, two weeks from now, Lakers end up trading for a Nick Richards or something. I just don't think it's likely. Like if I had to like guess, the the earliest we get a trade done is probably December fifteenth time around there. It doesn't even necessarily mean that day. Just kind of like in that time frame. Just because I think that that's when like you know Valanciunas guys like that will be available. And then the Lakers, I could see kind of getting that initial like relief trade. Right? You get the Valanciunas now. You can you can kind of exhale a little bit. Kind of let let's let's evaluate and see how the rest of this works, especially if the Lakers are in the hunt, right? Like if the Lakers are just like, you know, then it's like twenty games in, you might not have a choice. You might have to like if you're seven and 13, 20 games in, you might have to be like, you know what, like man, we we really gotta before this gets off the rails here, before we end up getting too too behind the eight ball, we need to pull something off here. We need to get a trade done. We need to get something. Let's just go get a Zach Levine, right? Let's just, you know, we can get him and then we have our assets, you know, see how that looks, see how that works, and then, you know, maybe go get a Nick Richards or something, or maybe we give up the picks to go get Walker Kessler, right? Like, I could see the big splash, right? I could see us, if we're, I think the better we are, the more patient the Lakers will be. Right? Like if Lakers say 20 games in are 13 and 7, then like you're not as in a rush. And you can kind of play the hey, we're not really desperate hand. Right? Like right now everybody Laker tax and everyone's trying to fleece you and doing all that stuff. If you're the Lakers and you're again, you're 7 and 13 20 games in and you start making phone calls for trades, people are like, "Well, you really need this, don't you? But if you're 13 and seven, and you know you're six games over 500, and you're on a great pace, and it's like, nah, like we're good, like we're 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 on pace to win 55 games, right? Like now you make those phone calls, and it's just kind of like, hey, we're just just gauging, right? We're 20 games in, you know, we're entering late November, early December. You know, we know guys are going to start becoming available. We just kind of want to, you know, just see where you're at, see where your head's at, right? Kind of, we're just evaluating what we need, seeing what's on the market, seeing what we could potentially acquire, right? Like now, but now you're not coming from a place of desperation. Now you're coming from a place of like, no, hey, we're just doing our due diligence, right? If we can find a way to upgrade the roster, if we can get better, right? Like, yeah, 13 and 7 is great through 20 games, but you know what would be better in between our next 20 games is to be, you know, 15 and 5 right? like that, that you know like that, those kind of things right like so now you're coming from a place of like hey we, we we'd like to get a deal done but we don't have to we're fine right like we're we're still on track we're still on pace you know we're a top four seed like i actually think i think one it's more likely the lakers get a trade done and, and maybe make those splashes if they're good but i also think they'll be patient and it'll allow them to be more patient. So I think that they'll be able to get the better deals. Where if you start off terrible, right? Like, like Lakers lose. Because again, th this schedule is brutal. We have like a back to back, and we play five teams in which we could look up and be 0 in 5 by the time uh, October is over. Literally, by the time October is over, we could be 0 in 5. Right? Like if the Lakers don't handle business and do what they do. But if the Lakers establish and come right out the gate, you know, and and say, like I said, the first twenty games they're thirteen and seven. Well, now again, you you don't have to worry about it. If you're a top three to four seed, right now you can be a little patient. 
Now you can wait for the good trades. Now you can wait for. But you know, Lakers start zero oh and or one and four, and then next thing you know, they're you know, like I said, seven uh, you know seven and thirteen. Then it's like, uh, like we really like, do we really want to let this get too far out of hand? So now you're calling these teams up in in desperation mode, going like, hey. You know, like, what do you think about Levine? You know, like, and it's just, or what do you think about Jeremy Grant? Have you decided to drop it from two first? Like, hey, buddy, you know, like, hey, hey, uh, Danny Ains, our good old buddy, right? Like, I just, I don't want to see the Lakers be in that position. Handle business early on. That way you can, you your, your timeline of 20, 30 games, you can take your time to get through 20, 30 games or even beyond, right? Like, then, you know, maybe this team's great. And it's just like, ah, man, a center and, like, a legit 3 and D guy and we're good, right? Maybe all you need is a Nick Richards and Cam Johnson and your money, right? And it's like, ah, we just, 28 million is what we have to send out, right? So maybe you're just, you know, maybe you're keeping D'Lo and Reeves and, you know, or you're trying to figure stuff out, whatever, right? Or maybe you're keeping a Gabe Vincent for defensive purposes, right? And going, like, Gabe... Reeves, uh, say Johnson, LeBron, and AD, something like that, right? And then you have these other pieces. Maybe you're bringing Quincy in uh, into the backup role, and you got Quincy Reddish or uh, Quincy Christie, Connect Wood, and Nick Richards, right? Like there you go, money, right? So I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, but. As always, this is a discussion, and I pass the question on to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? First off, are you excited? Lakers basketball is back. It's a beautiful thing, right? Like, again, you can just taste it, smell it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But do you want the Lakers to be patient in trades? Do you think it trades done as soon as possible? Do you think, like, nah, like, take 20, 30 games, kind of evaluate, see where you need to be, see where you're at. Uh, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.